Ladies and G-strings, it's very, very nice to be back. I'm sorry I've been away for such a long time. I've had my kitchen floor up and it just took a lot longer than I thought it would. Anyway, today we've got not one, but two French, well, French designed uh, guitars. Anyway, we have two orange jets. Uh, one with uh, three pickups, uh, EMG passives and one with two of Lag's own um, in-house humbuckers. At least I think so, that's what the blurb says. So, uh, what we'll do is we'll have a listen to them first on clean, or just a little bit of delay. So I'll listen to them both, we'll go through all the pickup selections that we've got including the coil tap on the uh, one with three pickups and we can have a listen to all the tonal variations the amp settings remain the same and they're both on they've both got one tone and one volume and they've been left uh, flat out so it's the nearest comparison that I can make between the two even though they are slightly different and then a noisy tune um, from each one with the using the bridge pickup on each. So let's have a listen and then I'll tell you what I can about them. Great guitars. In a minute. Thank you. 
So, the first one that we'll have a butcher's hook at is Lag Jet 100. So, uh, the other one is called 200. And there were actually quite a few iterations of the Lag Jet. They are uh, designed, certainly, uh, in France, and some are in fact built there, and they're called the Master, I think they're called the Master Build Series or something like that. These, I assume, the more budget uh, varieties, are not made in France, but probably China, or but somewhere Asia, um, because their website doesn't say made in France, and I'm pretty sure that if they were, it would say it, uh, because it quite blatantly boasts it about the expensive ones. The expensive ones came in, oh, they've not made electric guitars for several years. And as far as I'm aware, they only make now uh, acoustic and e-guitars and travel guitars and some of the smaller stringed instruments. But as far as I'm aware, they no longer produce solid bodied electric guitars. So what have we got? Well, uh, the blurb says, which is all in French, um, I think it's a, either basswood or older body, looks like a maple neck. Uh, this one is in white pearl. And uh, judging by the serial number on the headstock there, That'll be 2005, which coincides very, very neatly with the year on the catalogue for this model. And they made loads of them, by the looks of things, and they are, they are not expensive. There is one for sale in, is it John? Oh, I don't know, some music shop in Leominster. And he's got a red one for 169 quid, uh, one of these, I think. Uh, so, that gives you some indication, but like anything else that they're not making anymore, and these particularly, because I'm, I think they're superb, and uh, with, without doubt a uh, Fender Squire um, opponent, I would say, or any of you know, that sort of range of uh, budget mid-price guitars. And here's the funny thing. In 2005, these were 300 quid, and the one with the EMGs was 600 quid. And if I'm honest, I probably prefer the pickups in here. Um, so, but you know, it's all down to one to look home. You can make your own mind up, and now you've had a listen. And so we've got Goto style tuners. Uh, we have. I, and again, I assume, because it looks the same, I'm pretty sure that that is a Wilkinson uh, tailpiece with the Wilkinson Vintage bent individual saddles. I do like individual saddles for, you know, height and intonation, where you can do each individual string to get it just so. And so what have we got? We've got on this, we have... Uh, uh, it's a maple neck, isn't it? I mean, maple neck, and this is black rosewood. Never heard of it before, but that's what the brochure says, so I can only assume that that is what went on. Uh, it tells us that the pit guard is brushed aluminium, but I think they rather meant brushed aluminium flavour rather than um, actual brushed aluminium, and you'll see why on the other guitar. So you've got a, a three position fender alike uh, switch here, a blade switch, and you've got these um, just one tone, one volume, and they are really cheap looking knobs. And funnily enough, these go on all of them, even on the expensive 1600 quidders. They went on those too as memory serves. Uh, the other one has had them swapped for a little bit like Telecaster's style, uh, even as style 
uh, knobs. So anyway, there you go. Two really, really meaty humbuckers. Dead easy to play, very easy to set up, just like a strat, really. Uh, you've got super low action. I haven't changed the strings on this because there's nothing wrong with it. They're new, in fact, I would say. They've got, there's very, very little mileage on these. They're nice and nice and pingy, and they look nice and shiny. And I will tell you, by the way, it is today uh, September the 15th, and it is absolutely cracking their flags out there. We're on about half past two in the afternoon, and it is hot. In early 20s, I should think, maybe a little bit more. So, that, so that's that one. Have I missed anything out? We've had a, we've had a good look round it. It's got the, it's got the comfort curves, and it's got that recessed bolt-on neck. And uh, I have fiddled. I did fill them with the truss rod on both of them, to be honest with you, um, to get the action and um, relief set correctly. So. Yes, string through body. Beautiful, beautiful. And you can buy them for a snip. Okay, on to the Jet 200. And, oh, let me show you this. As you'll see, we've got butterfly string trees on here. And we have got roller string trees on here, which I would imagine are an aftermarket replacement because they all came with little butterfly and you know butterfly string trees are more relevant on a guitar that has a vibrato system because of course it means that the strings can operate more smoothly as they're being tensioned and detensioned or detensioned and retensioned Okay, so on to Jet 200. Um, this one's seen a bit of action by the look of it, but very strangely, there's not much going on with the frets. I think that these are nickel silver. Oh yes, and uh, the, the necks are the same on all of them, uh, 24 frets. Uh, and the neck on this has an ebony fingerboard, which is lovely, I mean, quite fun. Quite frankly, I can't really tell the difference between the ebony and the black rosewood. Uh, not in terms of playing or probably tonality either. They're both very dense. Anyway, uh, so we've got the same body shape, of course. Uh, other than, naturally, it's been routed out for a vibrato system, which again is uh, Wilkinson with their stamped saddles there and you can see the knobs have been replaced from those horrible cheaper black plastic ones and there you have a five position strata like uh, blade switch so same tuners goto styles but they, you know i really like particularly the headstock it's different isn't it it's nice and standing out here from the crowdy, and they're not expensive. They're very, very, very easy to set up, and they do have, a, like for example, the neck is uh, a fair on bit wider than, say, a Les Paul or a Studio or something like that. Um, but yeah, dead, dead, dead easy to play. Very easy to get along with. And they, in my opinion, they sound great. As I said, this one has a few battle scars. It's, uh, it's had a life. Oh, and it's got that nice uh, feature under here where you can adjust the claws with your screwdriver without taking the plate off, which is only six screws. I never really see the point of them, to be honest with you. But uh, anyway, there it is. And so that's really pretty much it. It for these again. You've got a make on neck, and it'll be either a basswood or underbody. And this one's in. I think this one's. It's either khaki or something else that didn't translate well from French. So there we go for these. And that's it from me. 
it's been a joy seeing you. Hopefully I'll be back much, much sooner this time. And um, I'm having new central heating fitted on Friday, so there'll be some disruption there too. So it might be, uh, might be a week or so. Anyway, thanks all for tuning in, and it's lovely to see you as usual. So it's to run from me and adios amigos. <laughs>